Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over a few different ways to work with logos in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you have a logo and you want to bring it to life with some cool animation, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to animate a logo using the magic of Doodly. So let's dive in. Before we get started, I wanted to show you this logo three different ways. We've got our first one, which is just your standard imported, don't do anything to it, it just scribbles on. And then the little fade in, and then where you have the hand draw each of the elements. Before I get to this, this one, which is a little bit more complicated, let's take a look at the one that fades. So if you click the logo and click the little pencil icon, you have the option right here under reveal mode for either draw or fade. So here's the just scribble in and then here's the nice slow fade. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to do drawing paths, go with the fade. My opinion, I think it looks much nicer than the default scribble. So it's up to you, but super easy. Just takes a minute, a second really to go in here and change this to fade. Now, if you have a little bit more time, you can do the drawing paths yourself. So you come over in here, same process, click the little pencil icon, and then you just start telling Doodly what to reveal first. You can adjust the path size. I'm just going to do this one real quick just to show you what the process is. Now you have to be pretty precise here because see if I'm covering this red and blue with my path, it's going to reveal it before I want it to. So you have to be kind of careful. And then you just go in and do each of the individual letters. I'm using ClickFunnels as an example because Russell Brunson owns both ClickFunnels and Doodly. And the other day I was asked to actually animate this logo in Doodly. So I have it all here and I did it and I'm showing you some different options. There's a more complicated way to do this as well, but it gives better results. And that was the third option that I showed you. And I'm gonna show you in depth how to do that in just a minute. Okay, so that is that. So let's take a look now. So this top one here is gonna be drawn on. This is what we just did. And then there's our fade. And then here comes the more complicated drawing one. So this is just a little bit different. And you might not notice a big difference, but it's there. So on this one, I have all of the different elements broken up into individual files. So that way I can control the timing better. So, for example, if I want, let's say, a second after I do this thing before the click comes on, I just put a delay over here on click. Okay, and then right now I have a 0.2 second between click and funnel. So let's go for like a little bit longer. Okay, I also made funnels take longer to draw than the word click because it's a longer word. There's more letters in it. And then if I wanted, I could make these go slower or faster or whatever it is I want. So let's just take another quick look here. So that one, it's always going to be, you know, three seconds or however many seconds I tell it to be. This one, I can add timing in between the elements. And I can also, let's go ahead and delete these guys, change the layout. So let's say I want this up here. I can easily do that. So this does give you a few more options than if you had just drawn the logo itself without its individual elements. So how do you break all of this up? Well, you do need to use a graphics editing tool. You know, if you have Illustrator or Photoshop or I like Pixelmator Pro, um, Vectornator, there's all kinds of them that you can use. 
and that's what I did with this one. Generally speaking, most logo files do come in the Adobe Illustrator format where they have individual layers. So here is the Adobe Illustrator file of this logo that I was given to work with. And I'm going to work with this one here. So I'm just selecting it. So I'm just going to expand it. And then I'm going to open these paths. So here we go. These are all different layers of the file. So I didn't have to do any cutting or tweaking to get it. All I have to do is turn off the different ones like so, and then just export this. Okay. So I went up here, share file, export, what have you. And then I hid this one and then I turned on the next one and I exported just this one. And then I hid that and then I exported just this and so on. I did click and then funnels. And then I came into doodly. So here we go. Click funnels. So here are all these different pieces to the little logo that I imported. To import, you go to props, hit the little blue and white plus button and browse for your file. That's all you have to do. And then to put them together, you just bring them in. So you have all these different parts, right? And you just put it back together. Sometimes you have to use your cursor keys if, if it's hard to select. And then I'm gonna select all three of these together and move them into place. That's basically it. But I also take the original file and I just bring it in here and I line them up just to make sure that's good. And then these three I had way too big, so I need to bring this down. And then once you have it lined up just so, then you can get rid of this one. It's up to you which one of these techniques you use. I'll often just use that quick little fade on effect because it's fast and easy. But I do also use this technique a lot where I break it up into its individual elements and build it one at a time. And then that way I have greater control of the timing. It's a little bit easier to deal with as far as doing the drawing paths and whatnot. All right, are you ready to give it a try? Head on over to Doodly and start animating your own logo today. Thanks for watching.